morning! So it's the first day of my second 12-week transformation. I'm starting to actually feel a difference in my weight. My stomach feels a little bit smaller. I feel like my face is getting a little bit smaller. And that's always my first place to either gain weight or lose weight is right in my face. It's real obvious. Yesterday, I was trying to make the 50s for my final weigh-in for the first 12 weeks. Of course, I woke up this morning at 159.8. I am now in the 50s. It's just like Murphy's Law, how your own plans get in the way of God's plans. Cream cheese today. Today I'm having a little bit of a relaxed diet day to start off my transformation since I didn't have one yesterday. Um, so I just got a taco salad and my tortilla soup. And I didn't get any tortillas or chips, but I did order some of the queso because I love that, putting it in my little salad. And you know, sometimes you just need something a little different. I'm in the mood for a little salad today and I already ate most of the meat that came with it so I just tore up a little bit of turkey and added it to it and that'll be it. I'm eating the leftovers from my taco salad the other day. So I'm having some broccoli tater tots and this is probably like two servings, maybe two and a half. A new recipe I found thanks to Jenna Fell, and it's strawberry protein ice cream. I just got back from the gas station and I saw these little tuna crackers and they looked really good. So I actually got a couple of them because I love these and the macros on them aren't really bad. There's 230 calories, nine grams of fat and 18 grams of protein, 20 carbs and eight grams of sugar. So, you know, it's not too bad. It's about the same as my usual lunch um, as far as the macros go. Even though this is not like the perfect idea of having like a healthy meal, this is so much better than the lunches I used to have. I used to have like a cheeseburger, french fries, and Dr. Pepper, so this is a big change for me. One of the biggest favors I did for myself is that I celebrate whenever I am doing something that is better than what I used to do. When we allow ourselves to dwell on the negative things, it makes us stuck in one place. We feel like we can't move forward. That's the biggest difference I've noticed in my lifestyle since I've started this transformation. In the past, I used to dwell on any little thing that I didn't do well in my diet or exercise, and now I let it go. I move on. It surely hasn't been perfect, and I've slipped up a lot, but I don't dwell on that. I know that I'm doing a little bit better each day, and that's what keeps me going. Hi guys, so apparently I'm on a gas station diet today. I wasn't planning on it, but I'm out running errands and I need to eat some food, I'm hungry, so I ended up just picking up some more stuff at the gas station. I got some little trail mix, some nuts, different kinds, um, some cacao water. I didn't see aspartame in that, but I'm sure it does have some artificial sweeteners, but this is okay, I'm just gonna try it out. Some water and then some jerky. I specifically got these types of nut mixes because of the macros on it. I always check the carbs and the sugar. So this one has 11 grams of, of carbohydrates and four grams of sugar per serving. This one has uh, 280 calories for the whole bag, 12 carbohydrates and six grams of sugar. And then this one has, uh, I think this is the best one for the whole package. It's 260 calories and carbs, eight carbs, and two grams of sugar. So this is the best one. So if you're ever in a situation where you need to pick up food fast, you can always get some jerky or just get some nuts. I am getting my day started late today. It's almost lunchtime, so this is gonna be my breakfast. These are just like the perfect little to-go meals. I've got a little BLT action for lunch. I'm eating this again for breakfast today. I don't know why I'm just on this little kick. I'm not gonna lie, I would really like to order a pizza today. I'm in just one of those moods, it's the weekend, and I just, it'd be nice to have a pizza. But I had a little bit of a cheat last weekend, so I'm gonna try and wait either another week or two before I have a cheat meal and uh, let that weight loss keep going down because whenever I do have those cheat meals, it just kind of holds me back. It's like smoldering hot today. I'm sorry if I'm like looking super sweaty. So the MPC competition that I wanted to go to is tonight. I'm not gonna go because I didn't make my goal and you know, that was kind of like the big reason why I was really going. 
and I've been to the competitions before. They're, they're pretty cool to watch, but I still have to edit uh, weeks 9, 10, 11, and 12 for you guys. So I gotta go home and do that today, and yeah. So anyways, I'll see you guys later. All right, so I just got back from the grocery, oh crap. I forgot my little health food place stuff, so I had to set that out. All right, so I just got back from the grocery store, and I didn't even have to buy a lot because I still have a lot of food still prepped in the freezer. So let me show you what I got. I got some turkey pepperoni, some more marinara sauce, some flour tortillas for my little pizzas. I got some sugar-free jello, and I got these little snacks. I, I just love these. These are just quick and on the go. I'll probably take these to work with me if I need to. Stocking up on my 60% cacao chocolate chips. I always gotta keep those on hand because you know I like my cookie dough. And then I got some squash, some zucchini, some tomatoes, um, an onion. And I got a rotisserie chicken. This was a total impulse buy because I was getting hungry and I'm gonna snack on that when I finish this video. And then at my health food store, you know, I have to have my sprouted bread. And then I got some quinoa pasta. I've got some puffed rice for breakfast. These little flakes. I really like these as forms of carbs because the quinoa and brown rice pasta is low glycemic, which means you won't have as many cravings. And then I really like this puffed rice for breakfast because um, it's got really good macros. It's only got like 80 calories for a whole cup, 14 carbohydrates, and no sugar. So, oh, it's not even 80, it's 60 calories. Um, and most cereals have way more sugar, way more carbohydrates, and they're like 230 calories, not even with milk. Most cereals, it's only like a half a cup for one serving, and this one's a full cup. So you get a lot more food with this and way better back rows. And then this one is not as good as the puff rice, but still pretty good. Three fourths of a cup has 120 calories. Let's see if I can get to focus better, there we go. 24 carbohydrates and only four grams of sugar and five grams of fiber, so this one's pretty good. So I didn't even have to get a lot because I already have so much food already prepped in the freezer. So good little grocery trip, trip today. I've got a peanut butter protein shake for my nighttime snack. I'm having some protein cereal this morning. So I'm changing up my breakfast a little bit. I'm having a BLT again for lunch today. Oh, that looks so good. I'm just making a pizza for dinner today and I wanted to show you guys the tortillas that I use. It's Mission Carb Balance flour tortillas. And I just wanted to show you that because I almost got a different kind at the grocery store yesterday because the macros on it actually looked better. Um, I think it had like 15 carbohydrates and maybe a little less calories in this and I almost bought it. But then I looked at the fiber and this one has 13 grams of fiber where the other one I think only had like four grams of fiber. So even though it had less carbohydrates and less calories, it probably would have spiked my blood sugar because it didn't have the fiber. And what the fiber does is makes everything digest a little bit slower. So you're not getting the carbohydrates and sugar released into your system quite as fast. I just wanted to share that with you guys and I've got my little pizza cooking in the oven. So, so yummy. I'm having some protein cookie dough and that's it for the day. So I lost two pounds this week, which is actually my goal for every week. So I actually hit it this time. So I'm down for a total of 14 pounds for the transformation so far. So thank you so much for following. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next week. Mwah.